In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use your digital planner in the GoodNotes app. Now, there also will be timestamps below in case there's a specific section that you want to jump right to. I'm first going to start by showing you how you can import your planner into the GoodNotes app. So you first want to select download or select the link to download your planner into your files app. So if you're in Safari, it'll go to your downloads button here to the right of the search bar. You can select that and select your planner files. And now you'll see it's automatically in your download section in your files app. Now it does come in a zipped file. It does need to be unzipped in order to access the planners inside. To unzip, you can simply tap the zip file and a blue folder will appear beside with the planners in it unzipped. If you are on a laptop, you can just double click and it'll automatically unzip the file as well. So we'll go ahead and click the blue folder. And then you'll see you have your planners, covers, instructions, notebooks, and stickers, and more. And I'm going to select 2022 planner. You can then tap the planner. Then you wanna select the share button here at the top right. And you can scroll until you see Good Notes. Select the app, import as new document. And now it's going to import the planner into the app. It can take a moment to import it. So I'll just wait one moment here. There we go. So we have the planner in the GoodNotes app. Now you can also import it directly from GoodNotes. So you can select new, import, and then you can go back and you can select the planner file and you can import it that way as well. So I'm gonna go back and open up the planner. So you can swipe to access the first page of the planner. And then to use the hyperlinks, you want read only mode to be on. So this button here is the read only mode button. When you click it and it's a blue toolbar, that's when you can write and edit your planner. Now to use the hyperlinks, you want it to be a white toolbar at the top. So I'm gonna go back and click that. And now that it's a white toolbar, you can then tap to navigate the planner. So you can tap the tabs to go to the different months. You can also select the dates to go to the daily pages. There's also a button here to go back to the corresponding weekly page, or you can go back to the daily page, back to the months. Also with this planner, when you go to the weekly page, for instance, the mini calendar, you can also click to go to the daily pages or the monthly pages. And we'll go back to the monthly page. Now, when you want to edit or write in the planner, we're going to turn that button off so that it's back with a blue toolbar. Now, the first button we have here is the pen tool. You can select that and you can then select whichever color you'd like to use. You can also select how thick you would like your pen tool to be. You can also pinch to zoom and you can write. You can zoom back out. Now the button here is the eraser tool and you can go ahead and select the size and you can erase. The next one is your highlighter tool. And again, you can select the color and the size and then you can highlight right over top of your writing. Now, there also is the lasso tool right here, and you can tap into it and you can select what you want it to recognize. Then, let's say you want to copy and paste this onto another page or anywhere else on this page. You can simply draw right around it, tap the middle, select copy, and select paste. You can also resize it. You can move it around. So it's really handy so that you don't have to rewrite things if you do want them on other pages. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can access your lifestyle template pages. So we're gonna go and turn read only mode on. And then these icons here are all the different template pages. So you can click the first one and that's your lifestyle section. Then you also could go to your health and fitness, for example, or wellness and then you can select the page there that you would like to use. 
And now with these pages, you can erase them once you fill them out, um, whether it's a monthly page or a weekly page, or you can duplicate them as many times as needed. And you can duplicate any page in the planner. You can also delete any page in the planner. However, if you do delete a page, it will remove all associated hyperlinks to that page as the page is no longer there. So let's say you wanted to duplicate one of these lifestyle template pages. You want to go to the overview section here and it'll open up and you'll see the page here. Now that there's this little button at the bottom right, you want to select that and you can then choose duplicate. And now it duplicated that exact page. Or let's say you want to delete it. You can select move to trash. And now that page is deleted. Also, with the different planners, they come with numbered tabs. Now these numbered tabs can be used for whatever you'd like. They're just custom pages that you can have quick access to so you can really customize your planner. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can add your stickers into GoodNotes Elements and you can create different collections to add your stickers into your planner. So you first wanna go back to your files app to the original downloads where your planner files were. You can then select stickers and widgets. You can then press the blue download button, select open, select download now, download. And now it's gonna automatically download them to your files app, but you can find your downloads on with this button to the right of the search bar. And it does just take a moment to load all the stickers. Once that is done, you can select it. And then you'll see you'll have a stickers and widgets zip file that does need to be unzipped by tapping. And you'll see a blue folder appear beside and this will have all the different stickers in it. And you'll see you have classic stickers, modern stickers and widgets. So you can go ahead and select the folder you can then tap it again and you'll see your different stickers. Now you can select these stickers, whether it's through files or through photos to add into GoodNotes Elements. So I find it easier to add through photos because then you can add them all at once where if you do it through files, you have to select one sticker at a time to add into your collection in GoodNotes Elements. So I'm gonna select the select button here at the top, then select all share, save 102 images. Now it's going to save these stickers to my photos app. Now you can go to good notes. You can then select the elements button here. You can then scroll at the bottom until you see the plus to add a new collection. Then you can title it. So I'm going to title this modern stickers Then add photos. And then you can hold and scroll down to add the different stickers. Then select add. And create. And now it will take a moment to add all the different stickers into the new collection. And you can see just loading them all in. And now here's where you can also select import from and you can go and import the stickers right from the files app. But when doing that, you do only have to add them at one at a time. So I do recommend doing add photos instead. We'll just let it load here. There we go. So now it's created a collection. So you can see here, you can have different um, color collections. You can organize them however you would like. So the one I just did is the first one here called Modern Stickers. So now when you want to add a sticker in, you can select GoodNotes Elements. You can then pick which collection you'd like to add a sticker from. You can scroll till you find the sticky note you'd like to add. You can tap it 
You can tap the corner to resize and you can place it anywhere in your planner. Now with GoodNotes Elements, you can also click the button and you can select this button here at the top right. And now it's going to do a split screen mode. And now you can, while planning, you can scroll through your different stickers and you can hold and drag a sticker into your planner, resize it and place it exactly where you'd like. And that's how you can add different stickers into your planner. Now, you can also add photos into your planner. If you have some photos on your camera roll that you'd like to add in, you can go to the photo button here. I'm gonna X out of this first, make it full screen again. You go to the photo button here, and then you can go through your photos and look and add any personal photos you have in or insert from files. You can add different photos. So you can really customize your planner, whether it's with stickers or different photos. Next, I'm gonna be showing you how you can change your planner cover in GoodNotes. So you first wanna start by selecting the download button or clicking the link on the original planner download page. Once you do that, it's automatically gonna to go to your files app and you'll see under your download section, there'll be a zip file called planner covers. Now you do need to unzip that file to access the different covers inside. So to do that, you can tap it, or if you're on a laptop, you can double click once you do that, you can then select the blue folder. And with this planner, it comes with classic covers and modern covers. So I'm gonna select classic covers. You can then scroll through to find the cover that you would like to add. Once you've chosen the one you'd like, you can press select at the top right, tap the planner cover, select share at the bottom left, and save image. It's now gonna save that image to your photos app. So you can go to GoodNotes and go to the planner file and you can go to the overview mode here at the top left to make sure you're on the very first page. Then you can select the rectangle with the plus, choose before, image, and choose the planner cover. Now you can delete the default cover if you'd like. So you can go back to overview mode Select the bottom right button here of the default cover, move to trash and trash. Now it's deleted the default cover. So you only have the new cover you have selected. You can then press close and that's how you can change your planner cover in GoodNotes. Okay, so that covers all the basics for getting started with your digital planner in GoodNotes. If you wouldn't mind taking a moment to leave a review after trying the planner, I would really appreciate it as it really helps me out a lot. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please send me a message. I'm always happy to help.